Hey everyone, this is Kevin the Entrepreneur, and welcome to my channel. And let's talk a little bit about Twitter today. Now, there's been a lot of drama going on with Twitter recently, primarily because Elon Musk completed his purchase of Twitter for $44 billion. And before we get into like what I really want to talk about, I just have to say that is an insane amount of money to pay for basically a site that is a cesspool of hate and stupidity. I know I'm on Twitter. I know I tweet. It is useful for YouTubers and writers because it's unfortunately the most easy and accessible way to get news about what's currently going on as it happens. But boy, the amount of stupid that's on Twitter is ridiculous. And I I've always wondered if maybe the world would not be just a little better off if Twitter did not exist. Why Elon wanted to pay $44 billion for it, I don't know. But I also was not going to get into this debate of like, you know, whether or not it was going to become a right-wing platform or whether or not freedom of speech was being bought. I'm much more concerned about billionaires buying uh, newspapers or magazine publications because they're working on a hit piece for their company. That's a lot more concerning than a billionaire owning a social media platform. Let's be honest, every social media platform from YouTube to Facebook, even to Parler now, is owned by a multi-million or billionaire. So that, that doesn't bother me at all. I personally think people are just terrible when they're online. But there is a change that has been announced, or at least it's rumored, I should say. Plants could always change that I actually find very hilarious, not necessarily because of the news, but because of how people are reacting to it. So, for those of you who are not on Twitter, there are some Twitter users that have a blue check mark next to them. And what the blue check is, is that this is someone who is verified to be who they are. So like if you go to William Shatner's Twitter account and you see a check there, you know that that's him. And any account claiming to be William Shatner that doesn't have a blue check is not William Shatner. It is a fake account or it's a bot account or whatever. I mean, in theory, the blue check is supposed to just be this person is who they say they are. There's a lot of controversy in how Twitter handles this, but we'll save that for a minute because the news is that now if you want a blue check mark on Twitter, it may cost you up to $20 a month. So let's look at this article from CNN for a minute. So Twitter is considering offering verified accounts to users who are willing to pay $19.99 a month for a subscription service, and it may take away the coveted blue check marks of existing users if they don't start paying for the product within 90 days, according to internal Twitter documents viewed by CNN. It's possible the plan and pricing could change as Twitter's new billionaire owner Elon Musk works to put his stamp on one of the world's most important social media platforms. It's also unclear if some verified users may be exempt from paying the fee. Many international organizations and charities, for example, are verified on Twitter. The changes would update an existing paid Twitter feature known as Twitter Blue, which currently costs $4.99 a month and is available in four countries, including the United States, to include the verification feature. According to internal Twitter planning documents viewed by CNN, it appears the pay for verification feature would only be rolled out in those four countries to start and would be priced at $19.99 a month. The Verge first reported the proposed pricing plan on Sunday. Twitter did not immediately respond to a request for comment. So um, this is what Musk tweeted. The whole verification process is being revamped right now. Um, so anyway, a large res Majority of respondents selected the wouldn't pay option. Interesting. Musk tweeted in response to the poll. So I guess he basically um, tweeted out a poll um, to see if people would pay for it. And if you look at some of the responses from blue checks, you would see that um, people are not happy. Like, I, I don't know who J.J. McNabb is, but you can see they've got a blue check. So they're, they're authorized. They are who they say they are. And it says, and 
FWIW, I unsubscribed from Twitter Blue this morning after reading Muck's amplification of a fake news story. So long edit function, I hardly knew ya. Um, Trivwork says when the Twitter Blue verification badge you paid for arrives. Um, okay, whatever. Uh, Phil Williams, apparently Elon Musk greatly overestimates how much I care about my blue check mark. And a comment like this is kind of what I want to focus on because let's get back to that thing about what the blue check was supposed to be and what it ended up being. So here's the thing. The blue check mark was supposed to be a verification thing. Like, hey, you are who you are. You're the actual organization. You're the actual person. And it should have been no more complicated than that. But the unfortunate thing is that it turned into basically a bragging right, if you will. Twitter started like playing favorites on who would get the blue check marks and not. If you were a Joe Schmo and you wanted to say, hey, I want my account verified because I have a small YouTube channel, I want people to know I am who I am, Twitter would basically go like, no, you can't have that. You're not big enough. And then you would have some pundit or commentator who would have a blue check mark but if they said something that twitter did not agree with or whatever then that blue check mark would be taken away they're still the real person mind you they were still verified at one point but twitter basically decided no 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 you're saying something that we don't agree with so therefore your blue check mark is being taken away and blue checks as they're called on twitter brag about the fact that they're blue checks so Elon Musk is actually taking away a bragging right for them. Now, why is it a bragging right that you have a blue check? What does that really mean in the grand scheme of things? Honestly, I don't know. Most of the real world does not take Twitter seriously. And the fact that you were verified on Twitter doesn't really make your opinion any more important than the people who don't have a blue check. In fact, if anything, a blue check from someone who says like really crazy things was almost more ridiculous than anything because it's like that was like a roundabout way of saying you might be certifiably insane but anyway so yeah when phil williams here says that elon musk greatly overestimates how much i cover my blue check mark maybe he's speaking for himself and maybe he is truthful about himself but the big thing is a lot of people their blue check means an awful lot to them like, you go to Felix K, I think Elon Musk should start paying verified users $20 once to even stay on the platform. What a jo joke. Um, Daily Mail on online, um, they, well, they're just releasing the news. Liz Wheeler says, losing all the blue checks, claiming you'll leave Twitter or lose your verification if Elon charges $20 a month for a badge. You wouldn't dream of giving up your blue check status. You definitely pay, and we all know it. I actually agree with that. Um, Nick Tyrone, the Elon Musk $20 a month for blue tick idea is one that is so bad it has the power to destroy Twitter on its own. One, attaching a monetary value to the blue tick destroys the desirability completely. It's like giving out Olympic gold medals to the highest bidder. Like, like you see what I'm talking about? Like, they're talking about, like, oh, yeah, you see, it's like giving out gold medals. You have to earn that blue check. It's like, why? It's just supposed to be a verification check. That's all it's supposed to to be it doesn't signal anything significant and the funny thing that is not being discussed is you know how all these blue checks complain about the bots and the spam accounts well ironically the blue check being available to anyone who pays for it might actually solve the problem because i think the next step would be to basically make twitter a product that you pay for like hey if you want your tweets to be considered legitimate by anyone then you have to have a blue check because it means you're paying for the platform and it means you actually got verified. It means that you can be traced if you say something harmful. This might actually legitimatize the platform a bit more. And if you see someone saying something really crazy or dumb, but they don't have a check mark, it's like, well, you can't trace that source. They're not verified. They don't want you to know who they are. So maybe they're not legitimate. This could actually solve the quote-unquote fake news problem on Twitter. It absolutely could. Now, that doesn't, <laughs> it's not a guarantee because, uh, again, uh, Elon Musk tweets some really crazy things all the time. Uh, I don't think Musk is a saint. But, yeah, I think what the people are really upset about is that their little gold medal or their blue medal on Twitter basically got taken away. Um, 
this guy says, ha, having a blue check will be like a sign saying, I'm a sucker. Um, and, uh, let's see here. Alex Health says, um, uh, Twitter's planning $20 a month for a vacation. It's Elon's first big project. Oh, and the team building it will be told they'll be fired if they don't meet a launch deadline of November 7th. That's basically a week. Now, I will say that I think that week deadline is very, very unreasonable. I hope Elon does not seriously follow through on that. That is some major crunch, and that, I mean, it doesn't sound like it should take a week, but it probably does, so, you know. Um, so, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Um, oh yeah, Ema Gandy Corn. apparently they're certified. I don't know, uh, apparently they're the editor-at-large at Rewire News Group. Um, I'm not paying anything that's going to put money in that person's pocket, so... But, on the other hand, if your Twitter account is being used for news and information, like, editors like being verified on Twitter because they get tips on Twitter all the time, guess what? You're going to pay for it, and you're going to write off as a business expense. Now, do I believe that $20 is too much for a Twitter blue and a check mark? Absolutely. In fact, I would actually, if Elon was listening to this at all, I would cut that to $10 a month. I think that is uh, much, much more reasonable. And the thing is, apparently there's going to be different tiers. Like, they're still working this out where I suspect that if you have to pay $20 a month, you're going to get more than just a blue check mark. You're going to get multiple features. But you have to keep in mind, like, most of the people who have blue checks who really need it are people who interact with their fans who have businesses or they're famous and they need to interact with their fans you think ryan reynolds wants to give his blue check mark so that people can know that this is the official ryan reynolds twitter account and any other ryan reynolds twitter accounts should be ignored because they're not real yeah i'm sure to someone like ryan reynolds who makes millions of dollars off the deadpool movies and his mint mobile business will easily pay 20 dollars a month to have a blue check in some ways, I think all these people who are dissing Elon for doing this, I think they are really just having salty grapes because they don't want to pay for it, and they know that they're going to have to pay for it, and they just don't want to. And, of course, they don't like the fact that now anyone can get verified, which, ironically, if you force people to verify themselves before they get on Twitter, it solves the bot problem. It makes it so that if someone is saying some illegal or dangerous things that you can track them and maybe arrest them, if someone is leaving death threats, but hey, they've got a blue check mark, then guess what? You can call the police and there's something that can be done. So it's going to be interesting to see exactly where this goes and how it pans out. But I actually think this is not a terrible thing. And I also have to laugh at the salty grapes from all of these other users who are basically thinking that Elon's trying to screw them. They, they've complained about the bots for years. They've complained about the false information. This is something that might actually do something about that, but because they're losing a coveted status, if you will, they don't want it, and they think Elon is being jerks. And of course, some people just don't want to give Elon Musk money. Whatever, Twitter never made sense as a business model, so of course Elon's going to try to make it profitable, because, you know, he's like the richest man in the world right now, so clearly he knows a thing or two about making money. But anyway, that's where we're going to end this one. Um, will I be paying $20 a month to get blue check marked? Uh, I don't know. I, maybe I would. I'd like to have it. I think business-wise it would make a lot of sense. But do I want to pay $20? Maybe I'd pay 10 but I don't know if i pay 20 We'll have to see when the time comes. Anyway, I'd like to know. Are any of you going to be paying $20 a month for Twitter to get the check mark? Uh, would you want it? And hey, if you do have a blue check mark, what are your thoughts on this whole thing? Do you think I have a point on this or am I maybe missing something that I haven't thought about? I would love to know. Comment below, like, favorite, share, subscribe, and as always, flame responsibly. Have a good one.